investigating this and once they have more information they will give that to the local DA's office about any local charges here in Nacogdoches. We're live in Nacogdoches this morning. I'm TJ Parker, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Quite a story. Thank you, TJ, for following it. All right, let's talk Paul. Consistent that this was not an act of racism and that race had nothing to do with it. And he says that simply is the case because there were other students of color involved, but he did admit the majority of the students involved, all females, he said the majority of those women wore white. He was also very much in favor of what his officers did that night. Take a listen to how he described what happened when they got that false report. Only one officer had a weapon unhosted. And his weapon was, it was it was night, no lights on in the room, and he had a light on it on his weapon. At no time was he intentionally trying to point at the subject. The other officer, there were three officers, keep in mind, the other officer had his taser uh, ready. The third officer did not unhost the taser or weapon. Once they found Miss Evans in bed, the threat was de-escalated. And again, Kristen Evans was asleep in her bed. This happened at 3 in the morning, and she told us that she woke up and had no idea what was going on and was very much scared for her life. A lot of questions still unanswered because they abruptly ended this news conference. In fact, they weren't planning on taking any questions at all until I asked them to please come back to the podium because we did have a lot of questions that we felt should be answered. They took a few more questions, and then the press officer here shut down the news conference. So we're still trying to dig for more information and get more questions answered here on the campus of SFA. Live in Echo Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Sion, thank you. Today, HIS.